Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solo Negocios video blog. Uh, today, uh, on May 28, 2018, we will present you a summary of the Solo Negocios bulletin issued today. Basically, we'll be talking about the exchange rate market and, well, uh, regarding the Mexican peso, it got depreciated. Uh, basically, first, given the USA holidays and uh, United Kingdom, which both of them decreased operations worldwide, so there are a few uh, set of information that got influence or made influence on this market specifically. In other, in other terms, the Bloomberg dollar spot index increased 0.12%, uh, and basically this index is uh, one made by Bloomberg against 10 currencies worldwide, and when it increases, basically, the rest of them decreases. So in this time, the Mexican peso got affected by this foreign element, the US element, and basically, well, uh, given these specific following issues. First, uh, there's less pressure given geopolitical problems between the US and Korea and North Korea, given that they are resuming talks and uh, the willingness to make this uh, meeting between Donald Trump and their president. Well, in other terms, also Italy presented some post-electoral problems given that the parties that won the elections, which are parties more or less uh, extremist against the European Union concept, well, they didn't meet the requirements to agree and create a government, a, co a coalition government, and therefore, basically, they are postponing their decisions up to uh, fall this following 2018 fall, where they will have another election. Now, the problem here basically is that even when they didn't make the uh, agreement for the current co coalition and the government, and then make extremist decisions as is expected, the problem is that in, a, in the fall, in the in the fall elections, probably we will have certain issues regarding um, the winning of one of these two parties, and then the chance for them to have the political power in their hands to make these extremist decisions. So it's an issue that will take place in a long run and we will have to find out how it works in the following months. Regarding NAFTA, uh, June the 1st, this following Friday is the deadline for the exemption on uh, basically the, the steel and aluminium fees imposed by the US but you remember this exemption where it was made to Canada and Mexico even in, in the event that a NAFTA agreement was met, given that it hasn't been met, there is a chance that we will get imposed those fees or that it will be changed in time for, for a future uh, date that will be established by the government of the United States. But the issue here is that NAFTA is not being finished in the negotiations and probably will be changed up to 2019 with a new government in Mexico that could impose new elements to the discussion, which will make it more volatile and lack of certainty, and also provoke a new Congress in the US to make the decisions. So it's gonna be complex. Uh, Forex in the exchange market, well, there are lower positions in pesos, uh, $792, million which is a little over the $774 million that was a minimum uh, threshold settled during this year. So basically right now we are with low expectations over the peso in this forex market. Finally, uh, it's important to mention that there's a little increase in the spread for the exchange rate in banks in Mexico and also the futures are increasing a little bit the pressure to increase the value of the peso of the dollar against the peso by December of this year. Basically, this is a scenario in general terms for the Mexican peso. Also, oil got down given these discussions between uh, Saudi Arabia and Russia, who they decided that they will propose in the Vienna meeting in June for the OPEC to diminish uh, gradually the production cuts that they began last year and that helped rise the the price of oil. But the thing is that with the increase in the US production, the sanctions against Iran and Venezuela, and this new position with the potential 
OPEC agreement, we will not know precisely what will happen. And right now, the oil market is going down a little bit, but it's going down. So we have to keep a watch on that element too. This is basically the information on the solar negotiations bulletin. Uh, below is the link to have a chance to give a look on the English version and the Spanish version also. And we will keep in touch. Thank you very much for your attention.